Jennifer, let's talk about this fight you got coming up in a couple of weeks. How do you think your training has been going for this fight? Training has been awesome. I, this is one of my best training camps. I'm one of my hardest training camps, but it's been good. I've had some great sparring. My sister Stephanie has even come, stepped up to the plate and helped me. And in my opinion, she's the closest to Katie Taylor as you can get. She's got those long straight fast punches, she's good on her feet, and she knows me. You talked about the pregnancy, your journey of losing the weight. Talk about that nutrition that you had to change your diet to get back to the fighting shape. Yes, How yes. hard was that for you? So it's not easy. I, the last time I came back from um, my pregnancy, I had nine months. So it was a breeze. This time only six months. And it was a lot more pressure to lose that big amount of weight in a short amount of time. So it was definitely not easy, but my coaches have been great. They put me on a diet. They've worked with me. It's kind of hard when you're very um, competitive to understand that you have limits and that you need to rest and not injure yourself. So that was a little bit of a, an obstacle for me because I want to go, go, go. I'm fighting the best fight in the world. I need to work hard. I need to work hard. But sometimes limiting yourself and being You got to take a step back sometimes. You, you got to take a step back so you don't injure yourself. And when you're body stretches out like that and then you try to bring it back, you're prone to so many injuries, it's unbelievable. So it's been a hard lesson learned, but um, I'm very disciplined. I do the best I can with my coaches say, and I feel great. I feel great and I'm excited. I've lost the weight, 75 pounds, and it's all gonna be worth it because this is the biggest fight. Well, I'll be 100% honest with you. I can, I can see you just radiating with confidence. I can see that you're ready for this fight, but you're going into a hostile crowd. Yes. How are you, are you preparing yourself mentally? Day of the fight, that crowd's gonna be going crazy. How are you preparing yourself mentally for right. that? I already understand what I'm stepping into. I already know that she's a hometown favorite. Um, I have fought overseas before. I have fought in other people's hometowns and other people's countries, but not to this magnitude. And I understand that nobody's going to be cheering for me, but it's okay, because I got my back. Yeah, here yeah we, got, we got your back. Everybody's, everybody's going to be cheering for me, and I'm going to feel their energy. So I know I'm going to I'm gonna tune them out, and I'm going to focus on what my coaches are saying, and like I said earlier, what her coaches are saying. I think a lot of people don't realize that the opponent, your opponent, if you ought to compare it to the male, she's kind of like the female version of Canelo Alvarez. What would it mean for you to to beat her, excuse me, when you beat her, what is it going to mean for you? That's, it's going to be the biggest accomplishment of my life. But like I've said earlier, something I've worked for my entire boxing career. I've been waiting for this kind of opportunity. I've wanted to fight on TV. I've wanted to fight the best of the best. And now I'm giving this opportunity, I'm gonna take it. Um, it's going to be huge. It's gonna be life-changing for me. It's gonna be life-changing for our community. I mean, we, we've never had this this happen before. And Jennifer, tell us how we can watch the fight on The Zone. So it's gonna be September 4th. Download the Zone app. Um, I think they have options where you can buy or uh, purchase monthly or purchase yearly, depending on how much of a fight fan you are. But see me September 4th. Cheer me on. I'm going to make you proud, but I need your positive vibes. Well, Jennifer, nothing but love, nothing but the best of luck for you. We're all going to be cheering for you, all right? Good luck.